So Timberland um, mm-hmm. made some waves with his post on IG. I'm just going to read it and we can talk about it real quick while we before we get out of here. Quincy Jones. Uh, now, this is a meme. This is not him saying it. Yeah, it's just, yeah, it's a meme. He posted. Quincy Jones started producing when he was a teenager, but didn't get his big hit thriller until he was 50 years old. You never know when your big break will come, <laughs> so never give up. Yep. What do y'all think about that? I think it's a great up? message. Yeah. Please tell me why. Because it's a great message. I mean, it's it's, a, he's wrong about the Mike, the Quincy yeah. Jones part, but it's a great message. But that's not, that wasn't his point. He didn't write Quincy. it, though, so. That wasn't his point. He probably didn't it. even say it. I want to see, tie his, it in for his, me, Long. His, uh, it's really simple. It was just, it was a post that he shared. Mm-hmm. He also does live streaming and stuff. I'm sure he, he does a live stream where people send him music. Mm-hmm. So when you think about it from the perspective of he has people sending him music, maybe they've been making beats for a long time or making music for a long time. This is a way of him saying, hey, you know, it took a long time for Quincy to have his thriller. Mm. And when you think about Man. it from that aspect, thriller is sure he was successful before, but everybody he, doesn't he wasn't, get a thriller. He wasn't thriller successful before though. No. Thriller is thriller is like a, one of the ones. I mean, thriller is arguably the best selling album of all time. It's not even, it's not even arguably. arguably. It yeah. is the best selling. Yeah. Album right, but of all my time. point, my entire point, and the only thing that I'm going to speak on it because obviously he was doing stuff before that is that I feel like that's all he was sharing it for. Yeah. Actually, I think a lot of times these uh, people such as Timberland that are in the spotlight and are famous and are known for doing certain things forget that they're known for these certain things and are not common folk. Mm. And you can't just share a meme like that right. and expect us to believe you. Because that's like everybody forgetting everything that Timberland did up until he got with Justin Timberland. Right. You know what I'm saying? You can't erase all of that comparison. stuff that happened before just because you work with Justin Timberlake. I mean, uh, uh, Quincy Jones worked with iconic people before he got with Mike. And Thriller wasn't the first Mike album that he worked on. Right. True. I mean, he worked on Off the Wall, which, in my opinion, was better than Thriller. But it didn't sell the same way as Thriller. So, I mean, it's just a matter of him um, not... With, Operating as a common folk, and he's not. I I have more qualms with him stating that the uh, Weekends album is just as good as a uh, Thriller, or calling it a Thriller because it's See, not. I, I need to listen to it, but I'd be, I'll be honest. Tim saying that made me want to actually <clears throat> listen to the Weekends well, project. You're gonna be upset if I, you're if you're thinking you're about to hear a Thriller album. I, I bet know. he has records that he produced on there, and he's trying to get people to go listen to it. Possibly. Possibly. I mean, Quincy Jones is on the album narrating on some of the stuff. Oh. Well, no, that, I think that's the only even with tie. that. Uh, that's that's a really big reach, brother. And I ain't even heard. The I'm project. not even. I'm not even a fan of the weekend. So I, I like I, the weekend, but so I, I, it'd be it'd be new for me. So this uh, new one to me, honestly. I mean, and we're not a review show mm-hmm. by any means, but I mean, it's it's okay. Yeah, I mean, but the on like to to what Lone was saying. You're 50 years old, and you get you fall into an album of that magnitude. I like the message that that puts out. Keep going. Yeah. Continue to work hard. Yeah. Continue to practice at your craft. You never know what might never happen. I'm not what, mad at you know, that. Sure, he was working with Frank Sinatra and Ella Fitzgerald and Facts. all these other people who are icons, the right? The Beatles. But it mm-hmm. was Thriller. That, but if we talk about it now, Thriller is what we connect Quincy Jones to. Mm-hmm. That's, I mean, that's sure, depends Mike, on how sure, you came up. Sure, Michael. But, yeah, okay. <clears throat> but anybody that was born after 1985... You know what I mean? Like I think Quincy. What your parents 75, let you listen honestly, to? Yeah, yeah. I think sure. Quin- yeah. I think Quincy would say that Thriller is his crowning achievement. I would too. I Commercially, think he would say that. yes. There's no. There's no. I mean, how can you that. argue it? Yeah, I can't. It's the best yeah. selling album of all time. I mean, he's done. To your point, we were talking about in our Discord. Um, I mean, it made Terry like afraid of music videos. Yeah, he was scared to death. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Probably scared now. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> uh, Traumatized. It was. Um, yeah, 11 Grammys. Yeah. So, but, you know, but, you know, a lot of times this just goes back to what we talk about meme knowledge. Yeah. Um, and if you're if you're inspired by meme knowledge, then good for you. Not really good for you. You probably <laughs> should be inspired by something else. But, um, yeah, I get where he, he was probably going if he even said it, because like yeah. he just. No, he didn't say no, it. He they, didn't say no, they, it. They, they, or, or he, the fact that he posted it. But I'm just saying. Yes, if, if for his crowning achievement commercially, but if you ask him artistically, he might not say the same thing. For sure, fair. Yeah, yeah. So it is. Yeah. What it is. Let's forget about all the jazz stuff he did too. Right. Big band. It's not like he worked with Frank Nosser or anything. Yeah, he used to write big band charts, full charts. You know, so that's why he laughed when Diddy was like, 
back then they saw my producers. That's why he was laughing at me. Like, he was like, yeah, calm down. You wouldn't know. He said he wouldn't know a B flat if it hit him in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> he, better, he better B flat C sharp. Yeah. He better C sharp in the mouth. He better C sharp or he's going to be flat. Man. Got that right. There we go. I got it right last time. I ain't mad at you. <laughs>